Dear friends, welcome to our weekly meditation from Three Links. I'm Chaplain Clark, sharing this time with you. Thank you for joining me this day. The good news today is from the Gospel of Mark. It has Jesus telling his disciples that he is the Son of Man. He must undergo suffering, rejection, and even die on a cross, but rise again. That's a strong emphasis during these six weeks of Lent, leading us up to Easter. Then having told them this plight, he says, If anyone wants to follow me, let them deny themselves, take up the cross, and follow me. Along with Jesus and the disciples, they've come to a fork in the road, and if following Jesus is their decision and desire, the course of the direction presents some real challenge. Do you remember as a youth playing the game, Follow the Leader? If you remember and did play it, we always chose the person who would take the most risks and who would dare to have us do things that we probably would not choose to do ourselves. Climb a tree, leap a fence, jump off the roof of a small shed, and all kinds of challenging things. There was always one particular person that we'd like to have the leader because he encouraged us to try things that we wouldn't normally do. And that's the challenge of Jesus to his disciples as well. Not just to believe in him, but to follow him. And up until this point in Jesus' leadership, there seemed to be very little resistance by the disciples to listen to Jesus. But now, Jesus isn't inviting them to live a life of leisure, but a life that might lead them to not being popular, a life of risk, even going to the cross. And together with the call to believe in him, now the call is to follow where he leads. Believing and following are inseparable. You can believe without following, but you cannot follow without believing. Most of us who believe in Jesus know that we are not perfect people. We make mistakes, we sin boldly, we break our promises, we lose courage, our faith is often shakable. But Jesus is not asking us to live in perfection. Rather, to know that he loves us in life and death, to know that he loves us and we are to trust him enough to follow, and to realize that we are living into being faithful in our lives. When I read in Galatians, for example, the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, generosity, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And as we follow, these are what Jesus hopes we will experience, actually become and be. He's inviting us to believe in him and then to follow him, trusting that he will lead us and guide us, forgive us, and walk with us both today and throughout all of our days, now and into forever. What a leader to follow we have in this Jesus. This is Chaplain Clark.